Hello. This is Minnie Manson's Dungeon with your host, Minnie Manson, and my co host, Brady Takino. Today, we're going to talk about music schools and how they only want your money and they don't nurture real talents. Okay, recently I was told by the CEO, he sent me an email, which I have. He told me that I couldn't attend the music school anymore, that I was going to, to do my voice training because other students in the class were, quote unquote, afraid of me and concerned. Well, what I'm seeing is that there are a bunch of young Generation Zs and all that and running through the safe space. When they see me, you all know how I am when I perform. Well, I'm like that in real life, too. I'm very expressive, emotional, and it scares all these straight-laced people. problem with schools are, and it's not just music schools, but we're going to cover the music school specifically, and I'm not going to name the school. It's in Chicago. That's all I'll say. The thing is, all the schools want is your money. They want a bunch of straight list white suburbanite young people who just go there, eight weeks, you know, just sit there listening, do what the teacher says, stand there, and don't show emotion. Don't be creative. Just follow exactly the way they do it. And if you don't do that, then they start reporting you and then they throw you out of the school because they don't like the way your personality is. In my case, they didn't like that I was so expressive in class and that I was emotional. Even when I was doing what the teacher wanted, I was doing it more than expected, singing with emotion. You've seen my videos in my playlist where it says school attainment. You see me practicing in there. Yeah. but. All the school, like I said, all the school wants is someone to go there, pay the money, shut up, and then leave. I've had a, a few friends of mine, fans, you know, contact me because I've announced publicly what happened. And they told me, yeah, they said, I've gone to that school too. And they said that the classes were just cheap. They just get you through the class. They take your money. It's expensive. Not in my case. I had a scholarship. In fact, what got me kicked out is I was getting in a fight with my ex about money that well, she paid for me to go to school there, and the people at the registrar said, oh, we can't find it. We don't see any record of it. Now, I think they did it on purpose because I already had a warning. They said if I screwed up one more time, they'd throw me out. So they've been waiting. All those people have been waiting for an excuse to get rid of me. And I think they purposely hid that money that my ex gave them, $240 so that I could go to school. That would have covered like six classes because I had a scholarship there. They didn't ever nurture my talent. They didn't recognize my talent. The only time they ever did was when they had a festival this summer and I did a karaoke song on their stage. And the people in the school, they came out of the office just to hear me sing. They said, who is that? They were amazed by my talent and my abilities. And they told me so, because when I was trying to sign up for a class, they said, no, you're too far advanced. You can't take this class. You know, this is for beginners. I said, wow, thank you for that compliment. So I know they think I'm good. And for them to throw me out, not to nurture me, they, know, they don't have any classes about how to be a rock star, how to use passion and emotion when you sing, how to use disabilities, depression, PTSD, bipolar, whatever's wrong with you, or maybe not wrong. That's a, I hate that word, what's wrong with you. I've always hated that phrase. But things that are affecting people, and affecting a lot of people, all of us in today's society, they should have classes there where you can be yourself, where you can show your talent 
without fear and repercussions of, of being thrown out of the school or being punished. And it's not like I can sue them. I can't sue them because they're all afraid of me. So, I mean, they don't have to worry about a lawsuit or anything like that. So if you at the school are watching this, you can breathe free. I ain't going to sue you. You're a school. It's a private school, and you have a right to your rules. But I'm going to encourage you to start understanding creative people. Creative people are going to be attracted to your school. They're going to want to learn the guitar. And I had a great guitar teacher. My guitar teacher, I had no problem with him. Um, I love him. And I was going to go back to that after I did the voice training. And I should have did private voice training, but they kind of didn't offer that. They wanted me to do the group. So I said, fine, I'll go into class with the others. I, I wanted that social, you know, I wanted to be social too. I didn't want to be alone all the time. That's why I did the group classes. I was going to go to private. After I did voice four, I was going to go over to the private classes and just be one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. What I need is a private vocal coach, not, not just a teacher from a school and go there eight weeks. I need a vocal coach. And, and yes, of course, I'm willing to pay for that, but, you know, I don't have a lot of money. So I'm on the search for a vocal coach right now who knows how to work with someone like me somebody who's got rock star potential that can make me go from here all the way up to here through the ceiling. And the school doesn't do that. I could, you know what? I could actually have been hired to teach stage presence, how to move on the stage. I know how to do all that because I've been doing it for years. I could teach someone to come out of your shell. Hey, sing that song. How do you look at the audience? I own you. you look at their eyes and say to yourself, I own you. That's what Gene Simmons said. And I learned that from him. That you want the audience to, to watch you. You know, you tell the audience you're on the stage. You own them, basically. And you're saying, this is my show. You watch me. I'm creating the illusion that I want you to see. So I'm going to say this to these music schools. If you want some real talent in your school, you've got to start making maybe you should start t taking classes yourself on how to deal with people like me creative people that other people would say i wouldn't call myself a genius but other people have you know people like me kanye west people have ptsd and bipolar you know we have a right to a musical education too and if i can't go to school that means i have to go on the internet and i have to find other sources on how to continue i want to continue my education you know i have a right to it's really hard, especially when you get my age and you develop PTSD and things like that. Can you tell us the incident that got you kicked out? I got angry at my ex-husband on the phone when the money wasn't showing up. I went to the, the registrar desk there and I said, well, do you have this on file? So the next class I take, it'll just show up. It didn't show up. So I... I called my ex and instead of stepping outside to talk to my ex, I did it in front of the registrar desk. And the person there was like horrified. And I didn't even realize I was screaming at my ex because, you know, she does this shit to me on purpose. Mm. She plays these fucking games with me. She, by her giving me a gift, it fucked me over and got me kicked out of the school. It's my fault for reacting and getting angry. See what happens when you accept a gift? I would have been better off paying for the school myself. Then I wouldn't have had to deal with Laura, and then I wouldn't have had all this shit happen. So you understand. Sometimes accepting a gift will be your death. It's better if you pay your own fucking way and don't accept gifts. Because gifts will just get you in trouble. I mean presents, like a present, not a G-I-F. Gift with a T. There's a reason why in the German language the word gift means poison. Gift, gift means poison in, in the German language. Look it up. <laughs> so, you know, basically, my friend, I don't sue people. I'm not vindictive like that. That's just a lesson for the school and to pay attention. Oh, yeah. so we got I think that they should start being more lenient for people who have behavioral issues, and they should, in, they should institute, you know, Something with, you know, they have the teachers, yeah. they have the administrator. They need to have some people work in there, like counseling and stuff. Every school has <laughs> counseling, like colleges and all that, but music schools don't have counseling for people like me. Right. People who yeah. have the weird, the weird mental dis disabilities I have is why I am such a good entertainer. I could not be this fucking amazing if I was a normal straight-laced person like all the people you right. see coming into the class. They all look like robots. They all look the same. 
Well, I think uh, they also probably filming in there too, but I only filmed me and the teacher. You know, I wanted my fans to see their favorite entertainer getting a real education. People have accused me of just being in my apartment all the time and never going anywhere. People on my YouTube, my fans are loving my school videos, and now they're not going to get to see that anymore. This sticker is $5. I have other stickers as well. I have three different designs. If you buy three of them, I'll only charge you $10. Otherwise, they're $5 each. So we got that sticker there, my YouTube one. My second sticker is my 666 sticker. My third sticker is a smaller version of the entertainer sticker. Don't fuck with entertainers, they'll kill you. Like I said before, $5 each or all three of these for $10.